of this. Well, third match of Raw, but different episode. And in this episode, we'll be seeing Oscar take on Becky Lynch. And also, uh, one thing I didn't mention until I thought of it today is um, there will be some new titles uh, slash replacement titles being introduced into the series. And I'll throw them up on screen. Uh, one, oh, go by quickly from the uh, first one is a redesigned Universal Championship. Second one is the uh, rest is the women's wrestling, no, women's world title. So, uh, since Asuka is both SmackDown and Raw, uh, it'll be Universal because that's what the uh, women's division is. And then the uh, Uni or Undisputed tag titles which can be uh, cross brand too so universal for those as well because the young bucks are smackdown and raw and uh yeah but I just want to make that announcement for this episode and uh, yeah but anyway we'll be seeing uh, Oscar take on Becky Lynch in this part question is, is can Oscar Come off her WrestleMania victory with another win, or will Becky Lynch beat her and show Oscar that she ain't messing around either? Oscar, Becky Lynch on Monday Night Raw, and I was thinking about trying this uh, thing. Uh, especially since after WrestleMania, I think I was thinking about starting another series. Let me guys know what you think about that. Like it'll be series two, but the same episode. So leading off of the last episode, so 106. So this would be 107, and then well, not this one, but the first one would be 107. This would be 108. I think that'd work. Nope. Ah, push off. Whoop. Oh, turned over. Ah, knee into the arm. Yeah, but let me know what you guys think about that. Because, uh, I was just wondering about that. Oh, Eklund traverses, throws Asuka on the apron. Two plexes are back in uh, to the ring. Let me fix my mic. There we go. Oh, shot to the shoulder. Slap to the tip. Slap to the tip. Oh, misses the forearm to the boob. Off. Misses the dropkick. Oh, misses the insiguri. Oscar does. Off the ropes. Ah, dropkick. Oh. We still don't have those WWE logos. We will get those in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. Goes for the pin. One. Two. Kick out by Becky Lynch. Oh, Oscar going back up. Ah, missed the splash. Ah, oh, shot to the face. Ah, oh, clothesline over the rope. Oh, the ref holding the Oscar back. Oh, Oscar going up. Ah, oh, oh, elbow misses. Becky Lynch gets up just in time. Ah, oh, arm thrown down. Oh, ah, oh, shot to the gut. Oh, goes for a power slam, or body slam, misses. Oh, drop kick by Becky Lynch on the outside. Oh shit, oh, Asuka working on that arm again. Ah, oh, knee into the arm again of Becky Lynch. Into the barricade, oh, into the crowd in fact. Remember folks, they have a count of 20 to get back in the ring, Asuka. Not wasting any time. Neither is Becky. Oh, Becky gets knocked down to the ground with a knee to the back. Ah, oh, Oscar throwing the arm into the ground. Going for that body slam again. Does not succeed. <laughs> oh, into the ring. Oscar goes. Oh, going for a power slam. Nope. Oscar reverses. Picks up Becky. And uh, goes for an arm drag. Nope. Meets an elbow to the face. 
Oh, Becky exploder to Oscar in the middle of the ring. Now, Becky going for the leg drop. Going for another one. Ah, oh, oh, misses the bum. The bum bruiser. Ah, oh, drop kick by Asuka. Asuka can go for her own bum bruiser. Ass face, here we go. Ah, oh, oh, pin for the win. One, two, kick out by Becky Lynch. Ah, oh, kick out by Becky Lynch. Shows Asuka she ain't playing around and shows uh, Becky, or shows, shows us that Becky isn't playing around, so it shows us the same thing. It shows Oscar. Oh, slap to the tit. Slap to the tit of Oscar. Oscar gets picked up. Walking up. Oh, Oscar going for the. Um, what she call it? Uh, what did she call that? Let me look. Ah, oh, let me see. Let me see. The disarm her. Yeah, I knew that. Just that last uh, word. <laughs> and the name. Oh, run that breaker to Oscar. Becky going for pin. Kick out by Oscar. Becky Lynch getting mad at the rep. Oscar getting up. Or Becky Lynch getting up. Oscar waking up. Ah, oh, drop kick to the face. Oh, working on that leg now. Becky Lynch's. Oh, where's she going? Snapmare. What the hell? Uh -oh. Arm takes down. Bye. Becky Lynch. Oh, Oscar rolls out. Ah, oh, ha. Oh, elbow to the face. Ah, oh, clothesline down. Into the corner. Becky Lynch is thrown, propped up by Oscar. Now what's Oscar gonna do? Ah, oh, oh, knocks Becky Lynch off. Oh shit, she's possessed and she got picked up. And then she just falls down. Yeah, um, normal. Normal. Elbow to the back. If Becky Lynch, Oscar just moves on with it. No big deal. On to the LED apron. Or board or whatever you want to call it. Becky getting up. Oh, she's going up top. Elbow to Oscar's back. Oh, into the ring. Into the ring. Picked up. Oh, goes her body slam again. Nope, Oscar reverses. Nope, Oscar going for a depth signature move. Yes, indeed. Armbar. Armbar uh, applied by Oscar, the Empress of Tomorrow. I'll try to make Becky tap out. Can she? Yes, she can, ladies and gentlemen. Asuka getting the win over Becky Lynch on or by submission. Good match. Good showing from both sides. But Asuka proves her dominance once again here tonight. Yesterday, or well, a week ago at Mania. By defeating two people. And now here by just continuing to defeat people. Now question is, is who will be the first to defeat Asuka in singles competition because we all know she lost that match against the iconic duo due to Becky Lynch or Peyton Royce screwing with each other but she lost in handicap one on two not one on one so her single streak is still going question is is who will be the first to stop it we'll see if that stops in the next episode or not. But next up, we'll be seeing the main event of this match. Finn Balor taking on Mr. Burn It Down, Seth Rollins. Let's go. Okay, here we go for our main event of the evening. Now, uh... As Seth Rollins mentioned earlier in his promo, you know, he's looking to get back at the Universal title real soon. So he announced earlier tonight that he's invoking his rematch clause for Saudi Arabia. And what's in Saudi Arabia? Oh, nothing. Just the greatest Royal Rumble ever. Or 
as I like to call it the largest because who knows if it will be the greatest because there's gonna be it's gonna be two back-to-back -back rumble matches but you know they'll be back-to-back -back in one episode so it won't be like oh like back-to-back -back, you know like oh one at the end of the uh, one episode and the the start of the end of the other it will be one episode two Royal Rumbles and the winner of that will get a championship shot of his choosing now I know that's like the regular Royal Rumble and it's kind of confusing but hey it's the it's the it's the largest Royal Rumble ever so 60 competitors and uh, my question is is you know since Rollins is invoking his rematch clause there against the Miz which will be in a Hell in a Cell match what will this man be doing? Finn Balor. Finn Balor will be in the Royal Rumble match. Question is, is will he win? Will he win? Because if he does, then the winner of Rollins or Miz, or Rollins versus Miz, he can take on at this upcoming, or next year's Mania. Or, or actually, no, there's the thing. The regular Royal Rumble match, that gets you a match at Mania in a main event. This Royal Rumble match, it'll let you choose whenever. So if you want to try to match the next night or the next Raw, you can. Or whenever. So that's the only difference. Question is, is if Finn Balor does win, when will he choose to fight Rollins or The Miz? Depending on who comes out of the match as champion. But we'll find that all out after April 27th. But coming out next is your former Universal Champion, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins was so devastated after a banger of a match between him and Joe. Miz came out, attacked him at the top of the stage as he was celebrating. Went 19 minutes with Rollins, so it showed that Rollins could still go, but not for that long. Miz kept using chairs and weapons and all that and kept taking it out to rap and this and just ended it for Rollins to become the new Universal Champion. Question is, is will Seth Rollins be able to overcome Miz in the Hell in a Cell match at the greatest Royal Rumble ever? Or largest? I'm going to call it greatest and largest here and there. But will Rollins be able to do it and win? I don't know. But if not... I'll just send them to the back of the line because you only get one rematch so we'll see we'll see but with that all said we'll be focusing on tonight's match and a win here for each side will send a great deal of momentum towards uh, their way so if Rollins wins just sends more momentum towards Saudi Arabia but if Balor wins Especially him. Because he pinned a former Universal Champion. What the hell is that pinned Balor? I don't know. He's a demon. Whoop. Backflip by Rollins. Sling blade by Rollins. Oh, Rollins. Ah. Going after Balor with the shots. Ah. Shot to the gut. Kick to the gut. Uh, no, kick to the chest. Knee to the face. Oh, knee to the face. Oh, Fowler sends Rollins on the apron, suplexes him back in. Planning Rollins on the ground, rolls out Rollins does. Ah, oh, drop kick. Sending him face first into the apron. Oh, arm drag. Oh, going for a hip tack. Nope, nope. STO into a face buster. Rollins going for something of the sorts. Oh my god, we're gonna see a buckle bomb on the on the barricade. Oh ha oh, power bomb onto the barricade. God. Last time that happened with Rollins and Balor, it dislocated Balor's arm. Oh no. Now into the poster. You see oh, oh. And that's straight down. 
Rollins not playing with Balor here tonight. Goes back in the ring. Count of 20 to get back in. I think Balor will be okay. Oh, the ref holding back Rollins. Nope, off the ropes. Oh, drop kick misses. Shot to the face. Shot to the gut. Ah, oh, kick to the gut. Ah, oh, kick to the gut. Another one. Ah, oh, spinning back kick. Oh, Rollins going for a Phoenix splash on Balor. Goes for the pin. Shouldn't that be a rope break? Nope. One, two. Kick out by Balor. Balor Club is running wild. Oh, drop kick misses. Oh shit. Oh, suplex by Balor. To the former Universe Champion. Oh, ho, ho, tornado DDT by Rollins. Into the corner. For a buckle bomb, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh no, 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 no. What? Ah, oh, off he goes. Oh, trying to go for the rainy maker. Does not succeed. Oh, code breaker by Valor. Oh, sent off. Oh, sling blade by Valor. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> nice catch on Rollins. Valor going out. Or a something. He's going for a springboard drop kick. Maybe. Yep. Oh, he misses. Oh, Ballard picks him up. Sends him into the corner. Propped up. Oh, nope. Knee to the face. STO by Ballard. Ballard goes for the pin. Kick out by Rollins. Not even one count. Ah, oh, shot to the face. Oh, Rollins gets sent to the corner again. Oh, Balor. Oh. Ah, oh, STO into the middle turn buckle. Oh, Balor going up for the coup de gras. Misses. Oh, misses. Oh, misses Balor. Oh my god, they don't know where to go. Balor gets behind him. Oh, Balor sends him in the corner. Elbow to the face. Into the corner. Propped up. Swan's going for. Going for Falcon Arrow. Looks like it, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, he is. Going for Falcon Arrow. Ah! Right on top of Valor. In the perfect place to hit a Phoenix Splash. Ah, as well. Goes to the second pin. One. Two. Kick out by Valor. Shit, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, uh, Rollins just not stopping on the gear. Waking up Valor for a double knee to the face. Uh, Rollins picking up Valor now. Oh, oh, Valor turns it into a sunset flip. Roll up. Goes for pin. Kick out. Whoa. Ah, back suplex onto the neck of Rollins. Valor elbow to the tit. Sent off the ropes. Oh, into a neck breaker by Valor. Oh, Valor getting up and taunting. Not a wise thing to do against the architect. Because he can mastermind your loss in just a few seconds. Oh. Valor waking up Rollins now. Ah, oh, teabag. Teabag by Rollins. Or by uh, Valor. Oh, Valor picks up Rollins. Oh, going for the. Hold up. Inverted DDT. I always get. I was getting confused with that in 1916. For some reason. Oh. Work on the legs now. Lifts up Rollins. Oh, what the hell? Oh. That abdominal stomp by Valor. Oh, Valor. Going up. Four. Oh, the coup de gras again. Will he hit it? No, he won't. Oh, Valor sends it into the corner again. Ah, kick. 
Oh, slingshot dropkick. Ah, oh, straight to the chest. Drags Rollins to the middle of the ring. Goes to the pin. Pin. One. Two. Kick out by Rollins. Ah, oh, Rollins. Ain't gonna give up, ladies and gentlemen. Can you tell that? Oh, Rollins. And woken up. Balor going for the drop kick again. Misses. Oh shit. Rollins seems to have control. Power bomb in the buckle. It's time. Yes. Yes. Oh shit. Oh, what's the snake eyes? Snake eyes by Balor. Or by Rollins. God, don't know why I'm why I'm getting confused. Two different people. Oh, oh. Balor takes down for a oh ankle lock. Or, uh, no, not an ink lock. A leg lock. Ah, kick in the face. Oh, Rollins is going to turn that around. Oh, nope, first snake eyes. Huh. Propped up. Oh, chop kick misses. Off the ropes. Rollins goes. Oh, knee to the face misses. Oh, shit. Oh, Aller gets her burst by Rollins. Oh, Rollins is going to take a moment, take his breath, catch his breath. Firebomb City. Oh, shit. What the hell is Rollins doing? Ah, ha, ha. Powerbomb to the outside. Ah, double knees to the face of Valor. Rollins dragging him. Waking him up. Oh, shit. Is Rollins going to be able to hit this? Going in. I think so. Ah, oh, suicide dive misses. <laughs> Valor just working on the legs now. Oh. Ah, knee to the temple. Mitch Noku driving by Rollins. Oh, Rollins. So black's on the stage. Count of six. Ah, throwing that arm towards the ground. Oh, ah, kicked off. Ah, cranking that neck. Ten. Oh, thrown towards the ring. Rollins is eleven. Nine more seconds. Sent to the ring by Balor. Picked up. Ah, oh, elbow to the face. Oh, Rollins is sent to the corner again. Oh, propped up by Balor. Oh shit! What's Balor have planned here? Reverse suplex. Oh, ah, ha, ha. Plan Balor, or plan Rollins on his face. Balor on his back, though. Balor goes for the pin. Kick out by Rollins. Rollins is a machine, ladies and gentlemen. Kicking out. Not even letting that two count surpass him. Oh, goes up for the splash, but misses. Oh, shit. That was a mistake on Balor's part. Oh, Balor, reverse it. Throws him into the corner. Oh, slingshot. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, oh, drop kick to the side of the head. Oh, Valor. Goes off the ropes. Throws. Gets thrown into the corner by Rollins. Rollins going for Baco. Bomb, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, ha. Run to the rainy maker. Yes, indeed. Rainy maker coming. Clear. Ah, ah, side of the face. Turnover by Rollins. Oh, curb stomp. Nope. More like arm wrench over the shoulder. Ah, oh, slap to the face. Oh, shit. Shotgun drop kick by, by Valor. Oh, here we go. Straight to the chest. Back in the turnbuckle. 
Oh, oh, oh. Is Balor ready? Balor, taking a breath. I want to stop now, kid. Oh, Balor, what are you doing? He has his finisher. Why didn't he go for it? Is he just dealing more damage to Rollins? Or what? Oh. Oh, nope. Nope. Oh, Rollins gets out of it. Oh, Rainy Mega. Second one of the match. Ah, oh, ha, Silent John. In for the win. One, two, three. Your winner here tonight is Seth freaking Rollins. What a banger of a match, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why I'm using that term now. Guess I just got uh, into using it, but Seth Rollins winning here tonight, and that sends a lot of momentum him his way, because Balor, you know, he's not having the best of weeks because you know WrestleMania he competed competed in the four way Intercontinental Title match with Killian Dane, Andrade, Cian Almas, Chris Jericho, and Finn Balor, and Andrade won that, so he lost that, and he was first eliminated from that match. And now here, he saw a chance to, you know, get a lot of momentum sent his way. But, no, didn't work. Did not work. But, question is, is can Balor find his way? I mean, either way, he's still in the Royal Rumble. At the Greatest Royal Rumble. But, can he find a way to build momentum? Winning the Rumble will send lots of momentum his way. But the question is, is Kenny, and if he doesn't, what will happen, Bell? We'll see in the coming weeks, because that's the end of this episode. Hope you all did enjoy, and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and follow me on the road to 300 subscribers. And also, turn that bell, notification bell next to the subscribe button, because if you do not, you're missing all the content. And if you do, then you're not. So be sure to make sure that bell's dinged so you get dinged whenever I upload. Anyways, guys, have an awesome day, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Uh, bye bye.